I'm Tom Sands, writer and director of the short film The Right Stuff. Illiteracy is not just an American problem. People all over the world, including the UK, are unable to read and write. If we work together, this is something that we can change forever. So join Cyrus Webb, me, and The Right Stuff in doing your part to raise awareness about this issue. To find out more, go to www.therightstufftv.com and to find out more about me, go to vimeo.com slash tomsands or email me at substantialfilms at gmail.com. We have Donnie here with us. Now, Donnie, again, we do appreciate you taking out this time to be with us today. Before we let you go, though, you said something that I want to go back to for just a moment. You talked about your mother and what she told you about your education. One of the things, Donnie, we're doing as we gear up for the summer is that we're encouraging all of our listeners to don't forget the importance of reading. ABC News reported just a couple of weeks ago that 30% of Americans age 16 and up are not reading at their required level. I'm just curious, what would you say to your fans, Dunny, when it comes to your thoughts about the importance of reading and why you would encourage them to also do their best in school? I mean, I, I just think the one thing that turns people off to reading is maybe growing up they were forced to read a book that they weren't interested in. And I think the great part about the summer and being off from school is now you could you could pick a book that is about what you want to read about. And it doesn't it doesn't have to be the longest book in the world but it could just be about something that you have an interest in and that is going to keep you reading it. And, and I think that's one of the things growing up that turns a lot of people off to reading is, is we were forced to read these books for school. But then you could go back to an, uh, one time when you were forced to read a book and you actually ended up liking it. So you really, you never know. Like, like the phrase goes, don't judge a book by its cover. You really just got to open the book, start reading it. If it, if it interests you during the summer... Keep on reading it. It's, it's great. It's perfect time to just to read a book that you you might end up loving. I know there's been books that I used to read that some of them, and I hate saying this, but some of them would move me to tears because they were just that good. Like the five people you meet in heaven. That's the immediate one that I think about. That um that book just it had me nearly crying while I was reading it. So that's how strong these books could be. Very, very true. So we definitely encourage our listeners and Donnie's fans to join the addiction to get hooked on books. Donnie, we know for your fans who want to find out more information about you, they can go to myspace.com backslash Donnie Klang, or they can visit yeah. you on www.donnieklangonline.com. Donnie, again, yeah. thank you. We know you're busy working on, on the new album. We appreciate you taking out this time to be with us today. Yeah, cool. No problem. And, and uh, just to, to reiterate one last time, for any yeah. kids that are listening, um, Going into this this new album that I'm working on, I've been putting in so much stuff that I actually learned from English and creative writing and, and any kind of literature classes that I took. And I've been trying to put in just deeper meanings to my songs and making them more about metaphors and putting in hidden meanings. And it's really, it's all stuff that I learned in high school and college English classes. So really just pay attention because no matter what you're going to grow up to do, you never know when you're going to be able to use what you learn. That was Donnie Klang, in his own words, telling you about how he has reached the goals he has set for himself and how you can do the same. Now, that's going to do it for us for this edition of The Right Stuff. Again, we want to thank all of you for joining us, as well as our special guests, Stuart Woods, Nesta Aharoni, and Donnie Klang. We also appreciate the tips and support of authors Jeff Rivera and Earl Hall as well. Our show would not be what it is today without the love and support of authors such as Rhonda Carpenter, also inventors and filmmakers such as Tom Sands, and sponsors such as Hunted Racks Energy Drinks. We thank all of them, our platinum sponsors, and our proud supporters for all they're doing to make this show a success. Keep in mind that if you want to catch extras from this broadcast, go to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com backslash the right stuff tv that's www.youtube.com backslash the right stuff tv and at myspace at myspace.com backslash the right stuff tv as far as our upcoming events make sure you mark saturday november 21st as a very big day for us that's our national day of reading Join us and authors and book lovers from all across the country as we unite together to bring attention to the importance of reading. There will be events scheduled in all 50 states, and we want you to be a part of it. Go to therightstufftv.com for details. 
Until next time, my name is Cyrus Webb saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Make sure you take out time to enjoy some good music and a great book. Thanks for joining us for this edition of The Right Stuff. Child, big pins, we slay, read books, do your thing, do your thing, crime, fiction, science, fig, who knows what I'll pick, don't matter what I read, will all help me succeed. Everybody get your read on, everybody get your read on, what? Everybody get your read on, everybody get your read on, what? Everybody get your read on. Everybody get your read on. What? What? Everybody get your read on. Everybody get your read on. What? Read up, die, people, please. Who knows what I'll be? Ah, no, bruh, like no other. My skills make me a winner. These words got me hooked. My biggest high comes from books. Don't feel all alone. Everybody get your read on. Everybody get your read on. Everybody get your read on. What? Everybody get your read on. Everybody get your read on. What? What? Everybody get your read on.